So everyone is doing well at the box office, which, you know, except for, uh, you know, well, I still think company. Even Ryansgate is doing pretty well, which Ryansgate is known for having historic box office flops. You know, Ryansgate, you know, and the box office failure, nor has expended four bowls. But there was another movie that Disney released. Yes, Disney released another movie, The Creator. Okay, another box office failure for Disney. For Disney, okay. This movie needed to make two hundred million dollars to break even, and no one is going to see this movie. Obviously, this movie has yet to release in Turkey and Japan. I don't think Turkey and Japan have any interest in seeing this movie, considering the fact that it's so poor internationally as it did. This is no surprise given Disney, you know, Disney's incompetency of releasing movies. You know, Disney bought Fox, and then most of the movies besides Avatar have failed. Okay, and of course, Free Guy made money too. Free Guy also made money, but the creator is yet another Disney failure. It is yet another Disney flop. I know I don't know anything about this movie. Okay, other than no one is going to see it. No one, save for the Haunting of Venice, which we talked about. You know, when that movie came out. Okay, we talked about the Expendables four when that came out and how that was a massive failure. So you just don't talk like you said. Oh, you're just talking about Disney movies. No, we talked about the Expendables 4 or Expend 4 Bowls, stupid ass title, but uh, the creator is yet another failure for Disney. And yeah, we did talk about the Frass too. We talked about, you know, the Frass. We talked about uh, India Don't Die of Destiny. We talked about, you know, Ruby Gilman. We talked about, of course, Elemental. And we also talked about, I think, Real Mermaid as well. Fast X, you know, in the box office videos. We talked about all the movies, but the creator is yet another Disney failure. So Disney. And what does Disney have left this year? So, 20th Century Studios, yo's, yo's, is the company which is owned by Disney, and he put out this release. Okay. They're the ones that put out this release. And it's funny they separate 20th Century Fox from 20th Century Studios. They really do. Okay. But Toy Story Studios this year does have the bike riders coming out as well. That's that's it. Okay. Next year they have three movies: uh, Deadpool three, Planet of the Apes movie, and Alien. So all sequels, obviously. You know, I think Deadpool three might actually make money. And of course, we have the Avatar sequels. You know, coming out later. But Avatar is really the only successful movie. Twilight Century Studios put out besides Free Guy. Okay. And maybe Call of the Wild because of the pandemic. But other than that, Twilight Century Studios did not really put out many successful movies. Most of the movies have failed. Okay. They have flopped. Okay. For example, The Last Duel. I actually had the movie on Blu-ray. It was not a good movie. Okay. Everybody said, oh my god, it's a great movie. It's a masterpiece. No, no, it's not a good movie. Okay. Again... It was back in the day when, you know, we were looking for new movies to come out, you know. I was obsessed with watching new movies, so I had to get The Last Duel. Because they said, oh, we'll get Tipo when it comes with, when it comes with Venom. You'll get, that's, you get, you, you get, you get, you know, sort of percent off if you get with Venom. So I said, okay, let's get The Last Duel. Okay. And that movie was a complete pile of garbage. Okay. Creator. Okay. The Creator. Is yet another movie no one is going to see. No one here, yeah, but Fox has not had a profitable movie outside of Free Guy and Avatar. And you can also count a Bob's Burgers movie in Call of the Wild because Call of the Wild did really well in streaming because of the pandemic. But most of these movies have failed. Okay. And the newest movie, The Creator, has been a failure. Okay. It has been a box office flop. Okay. As well, okay. And Avatar, everybody thought that was gonna fail too, if it wasn't for the holiday wakes. Avatar two was gonna fail if it wasn't for the holiday wakes, okay. But we also have Disney itself doing awful this year, okay. Disney, yes, they still have three or four movies in the top ten domestic releases. But that's because everybody else did poorly too. 
Okay, everybody else did poorly, but Disney did really bad. Dial of Destiny was a massive, massive box office flop. Okay, Little Mermaid still lost money. Quantumania still lost money. Okay, Elemental still lost money. So what's next for Walt Disney? Okay, what's next for them? Okay, considering the fact that they used they usually had, you know, the top the top five movies. Okay, of the year. They usually had the top five movies. And they had the lowest market sell at school 2020 because that's the pandemic. Since 2014. 2014. Okay. We're not including 2020 because that's the pandemic. Okay. Mick. But lowest market sell since 2014. In 2014, you had Guy you had Guy of the Galaxy. Ironically, that the number one movie that they made. And this year, it's Guys to Galaxy 3. And then you have this one, The Real Reason Nightmare Before Christmas. Then we have two movies coming out. Disney has two more movies coming out this year. Okay, besides Bike Riders. Okay, Marvels and Riss. Okay, Riss actually has some decent amount of hype behind it. Because the movie looks like a 2D anime. Because they're using the Spider-Verse style as well. Well, but Marvels. Is the other release. The Marvels. Okay. That's the other release they're making. They're coming out with. And I don't think that movie is going to make money. They spent $270 million on this movie. I know it's. They spent, okay. We're using the two hundred ten million million. Still. That's, they, they, that movie is going to make a lot of money. To make back its money. And considering the fact that superhero movies are dead. That movie is not going to make money. Okay. This. Is a wild card movie. I think. At this point. That this. Is doing well. For a Disney animated movie. Okay. That people actually have interest in seeing the movie. Probably because of what people, a lot of people reminds them. Of all of what Disney used to be. Which reminds people of what Disney used to be. And there's going to be a lot of nostalgia. For what Disney used to be. For this. Okay. So that movie really is a wild card. It might be one of the only. One of the only two Disney movies. That made money this year. That's that's awful. That's awful for a company that usually had the highest scores in movies every year. Okay. You can go, you know, to every year, 2022. Okay. You know, 2022, Disney had two, three of the five highest scores in movies of the year. Okay, go to 2023. There's domestic numbers, obviously. Disney has zero as one of the five highest grossing movies of the year. I almost said zero, but one. And that's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Okay. I don't think this is going to break the top five. It could break the top ten. But Disney still has four of the top ten. And that's including Avatar Way of the Water. <laughs> that's including Avatar sales. Okay, that's including Avatar sales from last year carried over to this year. Okay. We were then Dial of Destiny in the next movie after Sound of Freedom. So, 2022, 2021, okay. If 2021, well, Disney still had two of the five. Highest grossing movies. And one of them is a cold Disney production. So that's free. That's, no, that's two and a half. Two and a half. Because Spider-Man No Way Home is Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. 2020, we're not counting that year. So we're skipping that year. 2019, Disney had all five of the highest grossing movies. Okay. We went from five of the highest grossing movies of the year to just one. That's all. That's abysmal. Okay. 2018. Same thing, Disney had free, for, free of the, yeah, Dead, Fox was not owned by Disney at the time, so free of the five highest grossing movies of the year. Okay, 2017, go back to 2017, Disney had three of the five highest grossing movies of the year. Okay, 2016, Disney still had four of the five highest grossing movies of the year. Okay. 2015. Disney still had three of the five highest grossing movies of the year. 2014. 
Disney still had two of the five highest grossing movies of the year. Disney now only has one. And it's very unlikely to get a second. Okay. It is very unlikely Disney will get a second highest grossing movie of the year. Okay. It is very unlikely. Given Disney's market sale. Disney's going to get another highest grossing movie of the year. Okay. 2023 is an awful year for Disney. They still have a lot of the spots in the top 10. They have four. And they'll probably get, they'll probably get five with Riss. Actually, Riss will probably knock out that of Destiny. So, th- that'll be still four. That's assuming if no other movies hit the top 10. Okay. And assuming that, that, that Taylor Swift concert movie doesn't hit the top 10. That's assuming that the Exorcist remake does not do well. Okay. That's assuming that no that Mike Grayson doesn't do well. Okay. Which Mike Grayson will be mostly for 2023 sales. But Disney has done horribly this year. There is, there is no denying it. Okay. Disney has done horribly this year. Okay. Disney has done horribly this year. Yeah. Disney got beaten by a movie about a doll and uh, about a Nintendo game. That's how badly Nintendo has done. No, not, not Nintendo. Disney has done. Disney was beaten by at their own game by a Spider-Man spinoff. Okay, series. Okay, a Spider-Man spinoff series beat Elemental. Okay, there, there's no doubt that Disney is doing horribly. And the creator is just another symptom of Disney doing horribly at the box office. That no one is going to see Disney's movies. And we're really sticking up to Disney that nobody wants to see uh, their movies. Okay. The creator opened forward to Saw X and Paw Patrol. Whereas both movies are going to make money. But the creator is going to lose money. It's funny that they, can, they always release these big sci-fi movies around September. Because usually they do well. But nobody goes to see them anymore. Nobody cares about this. Garbage anymore that Disney's putting out, okay? And yet, the creator is yet another massive failure. Very similar to another very bad and boring movie, Ad Astro, that nobody went to go see. And that's about this video here. And yeah, the creator is another flop. Another failure for Disney. And yeah, we're not going to talk about Star X and Paw Patrol, because we don't really talk about box office sets outside the box office video. We usually just talk about the failures as well. And Disney... Has yet another failure. In this movie. You know. We have the numbers for. All the new movies. We also have Expandables 4. Which we talked about. We also talked about Haunting in Venice. As well. I think well, I don't. I think I was on vacation when Blue Beetle came out. So I couldn't talk about Blue Beetle. We talked about Rats. I don't think we talked about Rats Voyage of the Meter. But. We talked about Haunted Mansion. We talked about all these other box office failures. Miss Impossible. I think we talked about Miss Impossible. But Miss Impossible lost a lot of money too. But the creator. This is another slap in the face to Disney. They spent $80 million on this movie. And still. Still. No one to go see this movie. No one cares about Disney's swap anymore. Okay. Look at the look at the past month of movies. Uh, Equalizer Free. To Paw Patrol. Outside of Expendables 4. Was a massive box office failure. Disney has had them three of the f- two of the three biggest failures in the past month. That is really selling you something about the wa- the current state of Disney. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.